As we continue through the Beatitudes, we come to, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall be shown mercy. And if we look at the Latin word for mercy, misericordiae, we see that it has beautiful etymology and teaching from many of the saints. So the first part, if we break it down, misereri means to have pity on or compassion for. And the second part, cor, means heart. So at a certain level, it means to have such a level of compassion that it, for another that it comes from the inmost depths of one's being. And as St. Augustine tells us, mercy is heartfelt sympathy for another's distress, impelling us to succor him if we can. But we can dive deeper into this. In the Summa Theologiae, St. Thomas Aquinas talks of pity as grief for the distress of another. He says, since sorrow or grief is about one's own ills, we can have sorrow or grief at another's insofar as we make that other's grief or distress our own. So what does this mean? Well, he continues. He who loves another looks upon his friend as another self. He counts his friend's hurt as his own, so that he grieves for his friend's hurt as though it were he that hurts himself. So, turning back to our breakdown of the word, it could be said that mercy is to have such compassion for another's distress that you take it into your own heart where the distress becomes your own and you're moved to help relieve the distress of another if you are able. A good example of this would be a parent seeing the distress of their child and wanting to do whatever they can to relieve that distress. It automatically makes you think of our relationship with God the Father and His sending Jesus Christ, His Son, to be the salvation of mankind. So today let us pray for the grace of mercy that we may show it to others and that it will be shown to us as well. St. John Newman, pray for us.